Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time it's Cami MVP with 1,415 rating versus Kevin Cater with 1,289 rating. So it's gonna be another higher rated DB video, and let's hop right in. So Cater's gonna win the rock paper scissors shoot. And he's going to choose to go first, both playing 40 cards, so no rocket. Opening hand is Hat Tricker, Madalche, Analyzer, Seeker, Tenny. He has no hand traps. Uh, his hand is good going second, though. He has a lot of extenders. Like, every single card in his hand, he can summon without normal summoning. And then he has Wakero, Network, Jet, Imprim, Conquistador. So his hand is also pretty good. Um, so he's gonna obviously do network. Send calling. And then bring out three of the dudes and just go right in the Zexel. Set Wakero, set Imperm, set Conquistador. Pass turn, draws tackle. Activate Analyzer, and then on summon he's going to use Zexel, uh, he waits until summon to play around Gamma, Imperm, Special Hat Tricker, uh, it doesn't activate so you can do that, make Gallant, and then he's just going to beat over Zexel, he says 2000, says 23, set Tackle, and then pass, draws O-Lion, normal summon Jet, Link away in the Link Karibo. Jet, get rid of O Lion, bring itself back. O Lion, bring out a token. And then go in the Needle. Needle, bring out Gamma. Link in the Link Cross, bring out tokens. Uh, make Metal. And then Metal, bring back O-Lion, make Herald, go in the Blocker, and then go into the Mechanum Phantom Beast Link, bring out Tokens, Tribute 2, bring out O-Lion, and then go in the Savage, equip the Mechanum Phantom Beast. Battle phase uses Wakero, attacks the set, it's not going to be able to beat over it because they both have 18. Savage, beat over Gallant. And then pass turn. It is kind of interesting that last turn he didn't use Wakero during the end phase to be able, because he had Jet in hand. He would have been able to use Wakero and Jet to make Needle, and then this would have been able to get the Scarlet, and then he'd have another interruption. Draws the Medalche, not a good draw. Switch Tackle to Attack, beat over Herald. Normal Summon Seeker, Seeker Effect. That's going to bring out another Tackle. And then he's going to link in the needle, needle one, tackle two, and then he's going to savage negate, and he's going to imprim the needle. And that is pretty good. He's going to link into unicorn, unicorn on savage, and then tackle to set the wakero, and then it goes to the spell and trap zone. Oh wait, he's using the effect of bounds. Um, he could. That's actually so cool how he could use either effect there. He could use the bounce effect or the set effect. Um, you can set it though. It would just go down here. Uh, it's the same, like they said, it's like the same thing as Conductor. It gets set back down there. Uh, link Cross, Link Cross Effect. Bring out three tokens. And then Pass Play. Um, he did that because next turn they can be used for Link. 
and the unicorn had a decent chance of just dying there so it's safer to do this uh, he draws cursed activate curse pay eight feel great and he has the Lord uses Walkero and Conquistador beat over Link Cross and then beat over a token main phase two pass um interesting that he added Lord there I guess it's for like next turn draw Seeker Tenny summon itself out. And then he's going to make Union Carrier. And this is just game because now he has Block Dragon access. Normal Summon Seeker. Seeker effect. Hits Guardian. And then he's going to admit the feat. Uh, obviously, Block Dragon is just going to allow there to be game. And he knows every card his opponent has, so he knows there's no responses. Game 2. I think that could have been played a little bit better on the Eldritch part. Uh, by activating Lock Hero the turn before and then normal summoning Jet. Um, but Game 2, the opening is Seeker, Chalice, Researcher, Block, O-Lion. Uh, Chalice is pretty good. Uh, like Chalice and the Earth Kaiju are starting to be side decked or even main decked in the rock deck. Just because people that are good are holding Zexel to play around Gamma and Imperm, so they're waiting till a monster hits board. And if they're waiting till a monster hits board, then you still need cards to out it. And Chalice is one of those cards, unless they have like the Conquistador set up. That, that's not all the time, that's like half the time, maybe. And then the kaiju, obviously, just summoning out of it. Um, he has Ogre, Scarlet, Curse, Network, Jet. This is a fantastic hand. This is, like, what you want to see. Uh, activate Network. Effect, Send Calling. Bring out all the numbers. And then Zexel. Uh, a lot of people think like this engine like this deck is bad because it has network and jet But like the whole point of it is that you'd rather see two starters than zero Because if you're playing Eldlish and you don't see a jet or a network card Then you just lose to the power of combo Even if you have like three hand traps and a conquistador pop uh, They still just kill you through that Activate cursed Pay 8, feel great, add Conquistador. Kind of reminds me of like Salad versus Thunder 2019 Nats. Uh, just like Salad could have everything like Dweller, Rage, Roar, Ogre, Ash, and they'd still just get OTK'd. Set Scarlet, set Conquistador, pass turn, draws Hat Tricker, Zexel, Chain Chalice. He was playing in the Gamma there too, and Imperm. But. Oh, not Imperm, because he has the Conquistador Scarlet play I was just talking about. So he's going to bring out Lord, and then summon Conquistador, and pop Zexel. And now Chalice just did nothing. Special Dial Hat Tricker, set O Lion Pass, draws Nib, pays 800 with Cursed, add Lord. Normal summon Jet. And then Cami over here is going to admit defeat. He doesn't have a hand trap to stop his opponent. So he knows he's just going to get comboed. And now game three. We're going to see Rocco first. Opening hand is Researcher, Dinah, Analyzer, Seeker, Madalche. This is a pretty good hand. He has multiple level four extenders. And then he has each of the tuner guys. And then he has Wakero, Curse, Tuning, Ash, O-Lion. So he has one Ash to try to stop his opponent. That's just, it's just not going to work here. Special out Madolche, Special Summon out Dina. Overlay in the Gallant, Gallant Effect, Ash. You have to Ash that or they just get the Block Dragon. Or Researcher if they don't have anything else to keep going. And then they're going to be able to keep going even through Ash. 
Uh, normal summon analyzer, analyzer effect, hit gate blocker. I've seen a lot of people play like one gate blocker on their deck. Uh, just to be able to out mystic mine and stuff like game one. Make needle, needle effect. I mean it's on field effect. Like the non targeting thing isn't bad. It's it's just not super good right now. Brings out O Lion. Makes Link Cross, Link Cross, bring out tokens. Then goes in the metal. Metal and O Lion. He's gonna bring out Analyzer. And then a token for O Lion. Make Herald. Uh, bring out Link Spider. People that aren't playing Link Spider are crazy. Like, this card's so good. Makes you a uh, Union Carrier even easier to make. And then Union Carrier effect on Analyzer. Eclipse Block. And then get rid of those two for Savage. Savage and Block Dragon effect. Adds Gigantis. Seeker. And Researcher. Banish. Summon out Gigantis. Summon out Researcher. Researcher effect. Hits Tackle. There is just no way that Eldritch wins here. He'd have to top deck like... It really just has to be Dark Ruler no more. Like that's the only thing that beats this. Uh, you could Dark Ruler and then Cursed, add Lord, send Savage, and then you out the Buster Lock that way. Then you have Tuning for Synchro Combo. You could probably, honestly, if he draws Dark Ruler no more, uh, obviously he's not going to be able to go for game because he can't do damage. Uh, he'll probably end up still losing, but he'll be able to out the whole board. Make Wrap, Wrap Effect. Um, hits multiple, or not hit. This doesn't hit multiple cards there. It hits Analyzer. Uh, we do see that he does have the Buster Lock in his deck too. And he's playing Exchange also. I think that card's cool. Like you just get to see like the opponent's hand, which is like one of the most important things of the deck. Or the game, not the deck. Uh, just having like hand knowledge. It's very good. Summon out Seeker, Synchro, or Link in the IP. Pass turn, draws tuning. Uh, yeah, he's just admitting defeat. He did side Dark Ruler too, and he plays Numeron Wall. Interesting, so. Huh, he could be playing like. I'm assuming if he's playing a Numeron Wall, there's a chance that he's playing a 1 for 1. Uh, they just have a Numeron wall in there, so that way you have the option of going for Jet R wall, and then wall's like not that bad drawing first. Uh, you just don't need that many Numeron cards in the deck. But that's going to be it for the replay. Like, like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinders signing off. Peace.